Alrighty, drawing number one, I'm going to be showing you some different ways to draw fireworks. So the thing with fireworks is think about it. They're only about the size of your hand or so, so maybe bigger or smaller. But the ones that shoot up into the sky, they're about the size of your hand or so. Sometimes they're bigger even, but fireworks when they explode are much, much bigger in the sky. So there's so much pressure inside this little tiny firework that shoots straight up in the sky. It explodes, right? So usually in the center of fireworks, there's a lot of pressure and that's where it all escapes from. So I'm just going to draw a little explosion coming out. I'm going to add a lot of color to this one just because I really like all the colors. And once you have this kind of little spiral going on, you're just going to keep going around it over and over again. You can change the colors and it doesn't need to be perfect. Some can even shoot way out far like this. No fireworks are the same. None are perfect. They're always a surprise. They're all unique. Now I might put some yellow around this. And I just keep going all the way around with different colors. All right, let's speed this up. All right, so here we go. So if you look closely, you can just tell it's just little, it's almost like just scribbles, but they're not going all over the place, of course. But if you look closely, there's just little tiny strokes just going back and forth. And they're going kind of around it, like almost like an outline. And you just keep going. It's almost like little flower petals coming around. And each time there's a new flare, a new color, and you can just bring it out further in some parts and smaller, just like an explosion. There's nothing that's ever the same with all them. They're pretty unique. All right, this next one I want to show you guys, I don't do as often, but I think it looks pretty cool. It's also unique in its own way. So for this one, you just go ahead and grab whatever colors. It could be pencil like this one or markers, which I'm going to do this time. So you just go ahead and grab any color. I'm just gonna grab like a light peachy pink color. And just like flowers, think about like a center. Okay, so we have our little dot, center of a flower. I'm just gonna draw almost like raindrops or teardrops coming from the outs from the inside, sorry. Just little tiny ones. It almost looks like a flower, right? And when I get closer to the outside, notice I'm going to be making these teardrops or raindrops bigger, longer, oops, and they don't have to be the exact same or perfect. If you want something to be squiggly, here I'll throw in some squiggly ones in there. <laughs> and they just keep getting longer and bigger and they keep stretching out further and further because they're exploding. So let's do this quick and I'll show you how it looks. Oof, this one got a little wacky, but that's all right. Because fireworks do not like to share the sky. And they kind of just almost do what they want. Like I said, they're unique. And if you want each of these little shapes that are here, you can start adding in your own color. Maybe some like 
some super cool like silver or golds or metallic -y colors. I don't know. Or some other colors that you see when you see fireworks. So there you go. There's a couple different ways you can draw fireworks. You can start mixing it up. You can do patterns. You can do squiggles. You can do whatever you want. It's just a basic idea of how I like to do fireworks.